the playback. Okay, so what we're going to do is take the mouse and we're going to move it around to activate it on the screen. And we're going to right click on the mouse. Once you right click on the mouse, a menu will pop up. If it's the first time you looked at a menu since it's the DVR is powered off, then you'll have to put in your password again and then it'll take you to the screen. So for playback, we're just going to right click and menu pops up and then we're going to go down to playback and it's going to bring up a the playback window. All right, on the playback window, you notice on the right side there's a calendar. Uh, this calendar, everything that's highlighted blue, is will be days that have recording on it, and you can just click on it, and you'll notice down at the bottom, the camera feed that it it changes. We we'll go back to the day, because this is where it starts recording. Below that, you'll see some numbers. Um, these numbers are the actual cameras. Like this is a older system so I can only do four at a time but if you the newer systems you can do all cameras at one time and you can just come down here and just click on the cameras that you want to view or you can do all of them uh, for this purpose the demo purposes we're just gonna do one camera and the hourglass kind of sets that camera so if I came over here did three hit the hourglass it changes the camera to three All right, down here you see your kind of like your DVR functions. You got play, slow playback, you got stop, slow play. Uh, none of that stuff's active because we haven't picked out a time. So say we want to look at 3 o'clock. Well, I just put the mouse on 3 o'clock and I can hit play. Now if I use my, my the scroll on my mouse, it'll take me into a tighter time feed and I can take that down to three every three minutes so I can kind of fill out if I just move my mouse or just left click inside that three minutes it'll take me move it around uh, sometimes we don't know if something happened or the exact time something happened you can kind of do this to kind of narrow down the time frames alright so it, when you're in the playback menu, you, you kind of have to pause or stop to do other to change up. So what we're going to do now is this to take it to full screen. This is repeat playback. Um, next file, previous file. Uh, fast forward. And you can take fast forward up to eight. You got rewind. So notice that as long as it's played or paused I can't really do nothing over here uh, we're going to have to stop and come over here now I can pick another day so I want to look at 2 o'clock and take it in for a little bit tighter time uh, say so I want to look at 2.23 then I could just left click in here and take myself to 2.93 all right, so I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna stop, and I'm gonna just select four more cameras. And what will happen is, if you have, a, well, everyone has an eight channel or sixteen channel DVR or better. So on your screen, it only shows four cameras at one time down here. You'll have a button like a down arrow. Well, you'll have a down arrow right here and you can click that down arrow and it will change the cameras from one two three four to five six seven eight then you click it again it take you to nine ten eleven twelve and click it once again it'll take you to thirteen fourteen fifteen but even if you on one through four and you just hit play or you have all the cameras selected and you hit play it'll just play all the cameras at one time Now say I want to look at two cameras, and I hit play, boom, um, uh, and I just want to see or have all the cameras going, and there's multiple cameras on the screen. If I just left click on it, I can just focus in on that camera, or if I can focus in on this camera. 
All right, that concludes the playback tutorial. Once you're done, you just simply exit out and it takes you back to the regular screens on the DVR.